Welcome to our channel. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. This video starts right now. Hello guys, my name is George. I'm the reader for today's storybook, which is called Toy Story 2 Movie Storybook. Do you like toys? Well, Andy sure does. He has all different kinds of toys and he loves to play with each and every one of them. But Andy's favorite toys are a cowboy named Woody and a space ranger named Buzz Lightyear. One day, something terrible happened. Woody was toy napped. You see, Woody wasn't just a toy. He was a famous toy who once had his own TV show, along with Jesse the cowgirl, Bullseye the horse, and Stinky Pete the prospector. Woody starred in Woody's Roundup. Because Woody and the other Roundup toys were so famous, Al, a greedy toy store owner, was going to sell them to a museum all the way across the world in Japan. Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector were very excited. They had been in storage for a long time. But Woody didn't want to go to a silly museum. He wanted to go back home to Andy. That is, he did until Jesse told him a story. Just as Woody had Andy, Jesse once had a little girl who loved her. They played together. They laughed together. They spent every day together until the girl grew up and forgot all about Jesse. Woody began to wonder if Andy would grow up and forget about him. Maybe the museum wouldn't be so bad after all. Meanwhile, Buzz Lightyear had been busy planning a rescue mission. Mr. Potato Head, Stinky Dog, Ham, Buzz and Rex all set off together to find Woody. To get to Al's toy barn, the toys had to cross a busy street. Fortunately, they had a plan. Success! Inside the store, Buzz and the other had to face another challenge. A new and confused Buzz Lightyear toy. And little did they know that an evil toy named Emperor Zerg was hot on their trail. But nothing would stop Buzz and his friends from finding Woody. They quickly found Al in the office of the toy store and followed him to his apartment. And there was Woody. But there was one problem. Woody had decided to go to the museum with the other Roundup toys. He didn't want to end up forgotten and in storage. Buzz tried to convince Woody to go home to Andy, but the cowboy had made up his mind. So Buzz and the others left without Woody. It didn't take Woody long to realize that he had made a mistake. His true place was with Andy, not in a museum. But the prospector had a different plan. He was going to the museum, and no cowboy would stand on his way. He trapped Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye in the apartment. Then Al took them away. Woody's friend had to rescue him. But first, they had to defeat Zerg. Now they have to hurry. Al was on his way to the airport. Next stop, Japan. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Buzz, Mr. Potato Head, Hum, Rex, and Slinky borrowed a car to race to the airport. They rescued Woody and Bullseye and sent the prospector packing. Unfortunately, poor Jesse got stuck on the plane. Would Woody and Buzz be able to save her? Of course they would. Yeehaw! Soon, Woody, Buzz, Rex, Ham, Mr. Potato Head, and Slinky were back in Andy's room. 
along with their new friends Jesse and Bullseye. All the toys knew they couldn't stop Andy from growing up, but they wouldn't miss it for the world. The end. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Here are some videos we thought you might like. We hope to see you soon. Bye for now.